His throat tight as the tears ran down his face. And I love purity. I love you both more than any man has ever loved his family. He blew out the candle, and Joe's pistol went off a second later. He then got quickly out of bed and opened the cans of Coleman fuel, pouring them all over the mattress and the counterpane, knowing his way in the darkness by now as well as any blind man knew his own bedroom. He ran up the stairs and opened the last of Joe's gasoline, pouring it down the stairs. He flung more gasoline around the lower level of the house, then took a road flare from the kitchen counter, popping it alight and tossing it into the basement as he ran for the back door. The basement erupted in a blast of white flame that shot up the stairs and quickly engulfed the entire lower level of the house. Marty dove from his back porch into the dirt and scrabbled to his feet, grabbing up the carbine and slinging it over his shoulder. He was quick to get out of the light of the flames engulfing the house, running through his neighbor's backyard by the light of the fire. He ducked quickly into the second house over and made his way upstairs, where he took up a firing position in one of the windows, watching for those who had come to eat his family. When he saw three men in biker colors crossing the street with shotguns over their shoulders, he became so furious with himself for not hiding the jeep that he nearly jammed Joe's 45 up under his own chin. Instead, he quickly unshouldered the carbine and took aim at the closest mongrel. He squeezed the trigger and the biker jerked as though he had been stung by a wasp, grabbing at his neck and falling to the ground. The other two men turned and ran back across the street, but Marty was pretty good with the carbine now. He shot them down before they were able to make it to cover. Then something hit him between the shoulder blades, and as he fell over on the floor in agony, he saw a large figure standing over him with a crowbar. Brutus picked him up from the floor with one arm and held him against the wall by his throat. Now I got you, motherfucker, and you're gonna pay for... Qu'est-ce qu'on fait, chef Plante. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on vient de faire Et j'ai dit, on plante. 